sorry. It's really loud up here, isn't it? But it's so awesome. I love this. Okay, so this is where it's over our house. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Here's a quiz. So you've never been here, right? No. Okay. What is in Weird Civil War House? What is in? Yeah, yeah. What, what do you What do you imagine is in here? Uh, old hard drives. Old hard drives. Okay. Keyboards. You will not be disappointed because there are some <laughs> there's, there's some giant server grade hard drives. So let's go in, okay? I have never seen a keyboard with a trackball on it. I'm tempted to get it, but. I guess early 90s, but I don't know what all these connectors are for. That's stupid. Weird. Some weird stuff. Interesting. Look at that. Is that an old printer? KVM switch. Whoa. Holy shit. Peter Norton? Is that the guy that made Norton Antivirus? <laughs> awesome. Are they nasty? Yeah. Oh yeah, they have like a nasty. They were like already old. When I was in college like a hundred years ago, they were already old. That counts as one, right? <laughs> Oh, speaking of switches, what was that big thing you were going to talk the about? Markwatt switch. The Markwatt switch, okay. We're going to do like a... <laughs> Yay. <laughs> the <Markwatt switch. laughs> Should I order some for you? Yeah. Okay. Tiny old laptop. Intel Pentium. Hmm. Better Pack 555S. Did you find the switch? It's not quite the... It's not quite the... This is pretty good though, check this out. Oh! That's nice, huh? So, is the switch that you're talking about even better than this? I can't quite remember, but it's kind of like that. Well, you're giving it to me now. I'm, I'm, I'm taking this one. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. You take this one too? Oh, oh, here, I'll try to. Oh, I like that one. That yeah. one's very nice. That feels very strong. Like military grade or something like that. I don't know, I almost like this one better. Uh, I, I like that one has a longer thing on it. What the heck is that? These are both nice. Yeah. Did you find it? This is from Japan. From Japan? Yeah. This is that, oh, that has a very stiff feeling to it. Yeah, this is USA. I like the kind of how it sort of snaps. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is more... That seems like it was almost too stiff. And this one is like, yeah. it's like you're bending something. In. Yeah, it's very satisfying. Yeah. How much are these? I don't know. Uh, oh. Two dollars? One dollar. One dollar. Ooh, nice. How do they know how much that was? Because like? uh, you tell them, so, you, so they don't. I'll, I'll take this. This is awesome. It's just very, like, underwhelmingly quiet. <laughs> Might be broken, though. Who knows? Integrate. Oh, nice. Oh. You see amps? Do you see amps?
Ooh. Oh my. Minolta. I've never seen a Minolta camera before. What the hell? Is that a nine track tape? container. I've never seen this. They have full ladders here. Yeah. This oh, is, Jesus. This is awesome. Whoa. Is, could you zoom out at all? Or is, it, or is that zoomed out? or? Wait. Uh, so it's actually safe if I zoom out a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Is that zoomed <laughs> out? That's zoomed out, yeah. Oh man. Well, it's not all the way zoomed out. It's, it goes in. It goes like. Yeah, but. Oh, well, that's, that's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, well, that's, that's actually really this good. This is like all the way, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, try to focus it while it's all the way out. Well, no, it's, it's I'm already like at the limit. But then if you go in like this, mm -hmm. then it's pretty much the right. Yeah, that, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, you're tall. <laughs> you're like the giant. It's like the, the white. No, wait, what is it? There we go. Oh, yes. oh, oh, look at that. Like yeah, it. that's that's better. That's cool. Nice. Oh. I like the, like the 90s colors. You know, yeah, like yeah. You walk into like a store or something and they have these surveillance cameras. Well, it just looks like an old thing, you know? So I got the camera. It's, it's actually working okay. It has a burnt pixel in the tube because it actually is a tube. <gasps> what is this? Oh, they have remote control. Holy shit, it has remote control in it. It's, it's, it's a cool bag. And this bag actually opens up and it's a belt so you can wear it around your waist. It's awesome. We're going to go up to the dump. And ride our bikes up there and just kind of look over Silicon Valley for a little bit. Oh, I forgot to ask you. So what's your opinion of where's the warehouse now that we've been here? Uh, lots of junk, but lots of interesting stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of mixed. Yeah. There's a lot of better places, but it is a really? good first place. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, there's a lot better places with lot better like, like big machinery and stuff like that. Cool. No, not really, not really. No tape. But I really like this. Yeah, this video looks very on, good. Video on the go. Yeah. Okay, you can stop now and get tired. So guys, I have the bags and I'm quite happy with them. They are really freaking cool, but they're really big too. Okay, so we're looking through the camera now, the 1983 camera, and here is all the stuff. So all this stuff is actually pretty cool. We have a VCR unit inside a bag so you can hook it around my waist. have a channel switching unit, TV tuner. This camera is having some focusing issues, so... be very mindful because the sun can burn the image tube out. I'm tethered to, I'm tethered to the wall. Now the power coming out. 
powering my little laptop video converter thing with you. And I have this little RCA module thing that I got with a different camera, but it works pretty good too. Basically, it just lets you plug it in, so like a stationary application. So, right here we have this 12 volt battery. It originally came with a smaller one, but this is just one from a battery backup. I got it from Where's the Warehouse also. So this can run it for a little bit. I have this little power cable. It actually pl plugs into... Let's see. See, this thing opens up. And there's all the control panels on, on the side. And this Velcro undoes so you can get to all the controls. It's really nice. I really like this. So you can pull this out. We have this bag. I'm actually thinking about using this bag for other stuff. It's pretty nice. Just like this bag. This bag is really nice too. So this VCR can actually hook up. Wow, I'm getting all strangled with that tether. So the TV tuner has this, which provides power and video signal and stuff like that. So I guess this is supposed to go like so. And then this. This is a weird connector. Look at that. It's a really weird conduct connector indeed. It fits on really nicely actually. So then this will allow you to, well, I don't really know what it does. I guess it um, lets you record TV channels. I'm not really sure. So then you have your TV tuner. It's kind of interesting. Oh, that's part of my tripod. That's not worth it. Although that is about the same vintage, early 80s tripod. So we have this bag. This bag is pretty good. It's the Kiwi brand. And it also came with this bag. This is a little label from this bag. Comes with a little remote control. And that is pretty cool. I'm really happy with that. I mean, it just it looks so cool. I, I really like some of the features on this. The zooming feature, like having the zooming ring, is really nice. Although I have to also adjust the focus though, so that's kind of unfortunate. But I can crash the zoom in really quickly, like. Oh, and it actually stays focused pretty well. I noticed that it doesn't stay focused in dark light. In dark light it has some issues, but in bright light it has not many issues at all, actually. With this tether, I can go pretty far, although not nearly as far as it was battery powered. I really don't want to burn out the screen on this, because see, if if I point it towards the sun in that direction, it'd completely burn out the screen. I've also noticed there is this little dot right here. This little dot. Looks like somebody pointed it at a really bright light or somebody welded it or something like that. And so it was just too bright for the phosphor coating or whatever on the little Viticon tube to handle. Ah, oh, look at those insulators. So nice. Now, another thing I noticed is that the color is all sorts of messed up on this. Like, there's kind of like blotches and it's kind of, well, it's all kind of out of color. Yeah.
So I really want to love this Minolta camera, but it has so many issues with the picture that I don't think I can really use it as an actual camera. It might just be for show. It's kind of interesting though, you can... You can kind of, you can like rotate this part. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe you can re remove it? have the audio microphone pops out like that and I found that this actually is a tube this is actually a hollow tube that the microphone I think is in is back here so when you so when you pull this out this like turns it into more of a shotgun mic or whatever it's called so it's kind of cool it has some filters on the front so I could always put a wide-angle lens on there there's a filter This feels like it's almost professional grade quality, at least for the time. A lot of switches in the back. You can invert the colors, you can change the white balance, you can turn it to standby or operate. Over here you have a bunch of switches that you can use with autofocus, but the autofocus is shit. So yeah, there's actually a slot to put two batteries inside here. I'm not really sure what that does. You can undo this, pull this back, then you push this in to pull it all the way up. Undo this, slide it over. And I like the feature that this opens up. I really like that feature. It's very nice. This has pretty much like revitalized my interest in filming in VHS, to be honest. I was filming in VHS up until, well basically up until I started making a lot of YouTube videos in 2012. Because up until then I was still using a VHS camera. Although an all-in-one, not one like this. I've been wanting one like this for a long time to fill out my collection. And I have, I have a great appreciation for VHS. Some things don't need to be perfect quality. Some things can get by. Or some things are even better, being kind of like a humble, lower quality. Or at least that's my opinion. Like home movies. Home movies are kind of... Well, home movies seem like they, they should always be filmed on VHS or on film. I don't know. They just... Um, filming a home movie on digital just doesn't seem... just doesn't seem that interesting. But that's, of course, just nostalgia speaking. But hey, sometimes nostalgia can be a good reason to do something. I really like that they came in these bags. These bags are just wonderful. And I'm thinking about actually just wearing, using this bag instead of my backpack, because it's a really nice bag. I'll probably not use the VCR. I actually spent a long time trying to repair the VCR, and it's working kind of, but the mechanical side's working now. Although I think the electrical side is, is failing because it just, as soon as it tries to pull the tape in and play the tape, the voltage drops in the internal like 5 volt supply or whatever. So I might have to replace that or probably what I'm going to do is I'll just stuff this MacBook with this little power thing on it into that, or something like that, into that blue bag. Because I would love to like record Maker Faire or something like that with, with a VHS camera. Either way, though, when I get back to Illinois, I have quite a few camcorders that I've purchased ever since I... In the time that I stopped filming with VHS, I still kept buying interesting VHS cameras like this. So I have several VHS cameras I haven't really played with back home. Well, I'll be back in about a month, so 
I should be able to play with them then. That should be pretty interesting. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!